Hi, I'm Dr. Deb and this is Sahifa. It is October 2nd and I have the pleasure of being here with Maya Walchek, who is a picture book artist as well as has books for really all age ranges. Yeah. And we have um, the distinct pleasure of having Maya at school this week to work with our students. So Maya, tell us um, first, where are you from and when did you start drawing? So I was born in London, in England, and I've lived there most of my life now. I've travelled around a little bit and I've lived in different places, but mostly, mostly from the UK. Um, I have always, since I was a kid, I've been into drawing, making art, creating things. Um, but it wasn't until about six years ago or so that I finally decided to start taking a little more seriously and started creating children's picture books and kind of gradually starting to work in it more full time and writing more as well and so yeah it's been a long process and I've always loved it but only recently more recently I've taken it more seriously. <laughs> now Samantha McGuinness who is um, a lower elementary art teacher for us discovered your work yeah. and I think the story around her then finding you and bringing you here is is a good one. Talk about that. Well I actually only found that out today myself as well and I was so I was really, really, my heart was very warmed and very, I was very touched when I found out about it. She told me that she'd seen my art and some of my picture books um, before and she really liked them. And then one day she was at home and she left her children in the bedroom and they were watching one of my videos, one of my book, picture books, which I made into a video. And it's called The Silent Blue Book. And um, she left her kids there and she went to quickly brush her teeth. And she'd only been away for like 10 seconds, you know, max. And suddenly she heard crying and she was like, oh my goodness, I've only been away for you know, a few seconds and they're crying, what on earth is going on? So she went back in and she saw them, they were watching the picture book, the silent blue book. And she just found out that they were so touched by the book, but she was like, no, 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 don't worry, we'll get, there's a happy ending, it's all, it's all okay. And she just thought that, you know, if they were, and this actual, this actual picture book that we're talking about is a silent book, something I've been experimenting with, um, a children's picture book, but told only through the illustrations, so there are no words in it. And she just thought that if, um, if I can move her children to cry without even any words, then she thought, I really, really need to get this. this author illustrator into the school to kind of... Talk so to here you are. And here I am. <laughs> it's incredible. And so some of your picture books are without words, but yeah. some of your picture books have the illustrations as exactly. well as the words as do books that you create for other age ranges. Totally. So you do both. You do the writing of the words as well as the illustrations. Yes, yes I do. Um, it's been an interesting process because originally um, I was only an artist. I, I was very like... I had a lot of practice in drawing and painting, and that was what I was focusing more on. And only um, more recently, I kind of got into the writing part of it. I mean, I remember when I was in school, I didn't like creative writing, I was scared of it. So it kind of goes to show that if you, you can kind of teach yourself and you can learn to love something. So yeah, but I do the illustrations and the writing. So people of all ages are captured by the characters that you create. And I think it, it would be interesting for our, our Sahifa audience, and we'll show these, we'll show um, slides of these yeah. um, throughout the podcast. But, um, you know, how, how do you create a character? It's a I, good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, ideas and inspiration uh, come from anywhere and everywhere. But um, with these ones I've got here, like, um, a lot of them were created kind of under pressure almost, I was forced, or I forced myself mm -hmm. to create them. Um, I was working in a job that I didn't like that much at the time, I, my whole time was kind of consumed by this job and another course that I was doing, and um, I just decided, right, I need to get back into the art and illustration, and I challenged myself to do an illustration every day, it didn't matter what time I had to wake up, I said, I have to do it. And so a lot of these characters that I came up with were just, just kind of like, I had to come up with something, and I just made them appear on the page and it's really and actually it was a really useful tool for me because a lot of the characters then led me to create stories from uh -huh. from the characters they I took on a life totally yeah. and I can imagine I'm going to look back at them and think right I need to make up a story 
that's going to be my character, <laughs> you know, something like that. So who is she? She is a girl that I've been sketching. Um, she, she appears in one of my more recent picture books, The Wishing Well, and this is a, just a sketch that I did, a, a kind of a preliminary sketch, um, just to kind of develop her character. So she's not, this picture isn't actually in the final picture mm -hmm. book, but it was just kind of me engaging what she would look like mm -hmm. in the picture. Starting to get to know her. Totally, yeah. totally. So you, um, we've had the opportunity all of this week for you to work with our students. Yeah. Talk about what you're doing in the classroom with them. Right, well, it's been incredible. I've been working with very young children to 18-year-olds, but the idea generally is quite similar. I'm talking about the sort of things that inspire me, um, my background, how um, the kind of, whether I was trained in it, how I taught myself things, um, where I get my ideas from, and the kind of process, what I have to do to create a children's mm -hmm. picture book. Mm -hmm. And it's mainly those sorts of things, a variety of different things, but yeah, kind of stuff. Well, that is such an illustration of our ASD vision, where we, um, we have different aspects to the vision, but we talk about learning is creative, yeah. and learning extends beyond the walls. Yeah. The idea that you are a person who is real in yeah. front of our students with a profession, with a, a product, yeah. um, is, is great for our students mm -hmm. to be able to see. Okay. And the whole creative process um, that you use can be applied to really any field. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful for our students to be able to talk to a person who is doing that. That's really awesome, and it's so wonderful for me to be with them and be able to talk about it and share that experience and the knowledge and the ideas with them. So, yeah. Right. It's been a privilege. <laughs> well, that's Sahifa this week. Thank you, Maya. Thank you. <laughs>